Operators may have noticed a relatively new document entitled Instructions for Continued Airworthiness Supplements in their maintenance manual subscription updates. Cessna began releasing these types of documents more frequently in the last few years. ICA supplements provide instructions for maintaining new installations or configurations not currently covered in the applicable technical publications. When an aircraft configuration or installation is delivered, an ICA supplement will sometimes be released to provide maintenance or inspection procedures until the technical manuals are revised. In addition, a configuration change resulting from service bulletin or production incorporation may also cause an ICA supplement to be published. In csv 2 i ICA supplements are found in the disk table of contents. You may also be notified of a new ICA supplement through the weekly information notification email that is distributed with a link to the CessnaSupport.com website. Please note that an ICA supplement does not provide instructions for altering an existing configuration on the airplane unless specifically stated in the effectivity. They apply only to certain airplane serial numbers, much like the effectivity operators are familiar with in a service bulletin or service letter. I will give two examples of how an ICA is used in the field. The first example, Cessna began installing the Teledyne Gill 30 amp hour battery on the Citation Mustang production airplane serial numbers 510, 428, and on as an option. The latest revision of the 510 maintenance manual does not include maintenance instructions for the battery. The ICA also provides the approval to install the Teledyne Gill 30 amp hour battery on serial number 510, 1, and on as listed in the serial effectivity. This example does not have an accompanying service bulletin. In lieu of the revised maintenance manual ICA supplement 510-24-00001 Rev A was released to provide continued airworthiness instructions for the Teledyne Gill 30 amp hour battery and installation approval. For the second example in 2011, Cessna began installing the 9912 370-5 nose gear actuator on production airplane serial numbers 525B, 361 and on. At that time, the latest revision of the manual 525B maintenance manual did not include maintenance instructions for the new actuator. Cessna issued discretionary service bulletin SB525B-32-10 nose landing gear actuator improvement affecting airplane serials 525B serial number 1 through 360. The bulletin offers the improved dash 5 actuator replacing the existing 9912-370-6 or dash 7 nose gear actuators. While the service bulletin provides the authority to replace the actuator, it does not include the maintenance instructions for the dash 5 actuator. In lieu of the revised maintenance manual, ICA supplement 525B-32-0002 Rev C was released to provide continued airworthiness instructions for maintaining the Dash 5 actuator. Operators should be aware when technical publications are revised, the ICA documents may be the only place you will find maintenance or inspection procedures until they are incorporated in the technical publications. The ICA supplement list in the introduction of the maintenance manual provides a status of all ICA supplements released prior to the maintenance manual revision. As Cessna continues to modify and improve systems on aircraft, the ICA supplements will become more common as aircraft configurations change. Operators are highly encouraged to familiarize themselves with the ICA supplement documents and know how they are used.